Good morning, it is Friday the 15th of November. We are up a little bit earlier this morning as we're off to extra magic hours at Magic Kingdom. We, it's about 7am now, we're going to try and go down to the buses in about 10-15 minutes. We're going to go, we've got a plan, I just need to find it, I've got it written down somewhere. Um, but we've got fast passes for the three mountains this morning. Um, so our plan is at Extra Magic Hours to try and hit some of the other rides like Buzz Haunted Mansion um, and things like that which we haven't got fast passes for. I think it could be really quite busy as Magic Kingdom has been shut last night and tonight at 6pm ready for Mickey's Very Merry Christmas party so I think a lot of people might be going this morning to try and make up the extra time but we will see how that goes. Are you looking forward to this morning at Magic Kingdom? Yes I am. We haven't been to Magic Kingdom yet this holiday so we're really excited to see it and see the Christmas tree, see all the Christmas decorations around Magic Kingdom and then we're going to try and leave about 12 or 1 o'clock this afternoon. Going to come back to the room, have a quick change and then get the bus to Disney Springs as we're going to have take two of trying to go to the NBA experience as we were a bit unlucky yesterday. Um, we've got tickets now, they said there should be no problem, so we're going to do that this afternoon and then get an Uber over to the Amway Centre to then have some more NBA watching the Orlando Magic and who is it, San Antonio Spurs? So that'll be my first ever basketball game. So yeah, we've got an exciting day, a busy day, but off we go. Okay, so we're off to the bus stop. It's quite dark still this morning. Um, there doesn't seem to be many people about. Um, check the app and it doesn't. It says that there's no bus times available for any of the parks yet. So hopefully we're not too early. But extra magic hours is at eight. It's about seven ten. And it does say that the first bus should start 45 minutes before first park opens. So hopefully we'll be on the first bus. We'll see. Uh, what ride are you most excited to ride this morning? Um, seven Dwarfs. Yeah, hopefully we'll get on that at Extra Magic Hours, but if not, we've got a fast pass for it later in the holiday. Um, I'm excited to do Space Mountain again. Yeah. I love that one. We've got a fast pass for that, so that's good. So yeah, let's go and see what the bus situation is this morning. We're coming up, walking around this little corner. How nice is this look for Christmas? Ready to see the castle? Yeah. There it is. And the castle. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Wow. Down Main Street we go. Look at the Christmas stuff. So cute. Isn't it? Amazing. It looks so nice. Christmas is definitely the best time of year here. Yeah. It's just so beautiful. <laughs> At least you've come in and it's not raining. <laughs> That's true. It's gonna probably rain at any minute now, but we're excited.
<laughs> oh, it's me. The weather's maybe put a few people yeah, off. Yeah, I mean, the weather is really horrible this morning. A lot of people are heading to the indoor rides, I think. Yeah, so it's good that we've got space now. Yeah. Go and do that. And then we've got Big Thunder as our next fast pass, but we'll maybe try and get on a few of the smaller rides like Buzz. Maybe do a people mover. Yeah. And um, do a few things around Tomorrowland. It doesn't seem too busy yet, so I think we've no, got it's quite, to stay quite dead, no really. Like this, and we'll be in luck. Yeah, let's go do space. Oh, the, the roar of the crowd. The roar of the crowd. The roar of the crowd. Oh, the 
in Splash Mountain but we're not sure yet if we're gonna do it are we it's a bit cold but right now we've got a fast pass for Big Thunder it's for wildest ride in the wilderness <laughs> back to All Star Sports. Yes, we've had a great morning. We just had lunch at Columbia Harbour House, didn't we? Yes, very nice. We've never been there really nice. I had the salmon and you had the trio platter, didn't you? Yeah. Hello, we are back at the room now. We are just having a little outfit change, freshen up and whatnot before we head over to Disney Springs for the NBA experience. We have decided we're going to leave the camera indoors as they're really strict with what you can take into the Amway Centre which is where the NBA game is going to be later and we're only taking a really tiny bag so we're not really going to be fair at the NBA filming anything we just want to enjoy the game so we'll probably take a few videos and pictures at the NBA experience which I'm sure we'll be able to insert here on our phones but other than that, this is the end of our camera vlogging for today. Tomorrow we have a really busy but a bit of a different day. We're off to Gatorland and the outlets for the majority of the day. But we have some really fun dining. It's our first character dining experience of the holiday. We are going to 1900 Park Fair. I have not been here since I was about seven years old. Alfie's never actually been inside the Grand Floridian before. So this is a huge, exciting breakfast for us tomorrow. We're going to be meeting Winnie the Pooh and Mary Poppins, who are like my two favourite characters, so that's really great. And we're also going to get to see the Grand Floridian, and it's going to be all done up for Christmas. It's gingerbread house is now open, so that's very exciting. And then for dinner, we are actually going to California Grill tomorrow night. We have a reservation... Um, which is going to hopefully mean we can watch the fireworks there. If not, we know we can take our receipt and come back. But California Grill is somewhere where we've wanted to go since our trip last year, but we just couldn't get a reservation for it. So we're really excited for that. It will also be the first time we see Happily Ever After this holiday. And I just love that show so much. So got a really exciting day tomorrow an exciting afternoon now today as well and i'm sure we'll try and insert some pics and stuff from the nba experience and chat to you a little bit more about what we thought about it tomorrow but thanks for tuning in again bye raise one hand above your head keep 
reaching. Jump. Combine at the NBA experience. So I've just done mine. You have to measure your wingspan, then it tests how high you are when you do a vertical leap, and then you get five balls to shoot to see how good you are. So Alf is doing his. Raise one hand high. <laughs> Jump. Pound that ball to the ground and cross over. Pound it, cross. Pound it, cross. Pound it, cross over. This is good. This, this is where you change the game over this. Think about being hit with your level point guard. Think about this elite, exception, and stop. Good job. Keep pushing. <laughs> Brilliant. 